So I'm going to show you how to do a quick bunny rabbit and kitty cat today. These are extremely easy, extremely fast, and great if you have a long line. And if you're a beginner, they're really, really easy. I'm just going to mist the sponge with my spray, and get some metallic white, and then a little bit of the uh, metallic rose color. And you want to keep your sponge pretty dry because this is going to be a blush. And just test it on your hand, make sure it's not too strong. And I'm going to make really rosy cheeks with this. So just on the apples of the cheeks. Put that on. Now I'm going to take a chisel brush. And um, you can use a flat brush too. If you don't have a chisel brush, a flat brush will work just fine. And I'm going to load it up nice and good with some... Um, white paint. You could use uh, diamond effects or wool for tag, whatever uh, white you have. And I always start with the little hairs in the center. So to do that, I put the bristles straight down like this and just kind of flick up. And I go the highest kind of in the center and then fan the hairs out. Then from there, you're just going to drag your brush a little bit and go up at an angle and then down in kind of an S curve and fill that in. So that's the little kitty ear and the second ear over here. And now I'm going to drag my brush down the bridge of my nose. And then around right here, I'm going to start on the muzzle and just bring it out in a curve to the corner of the mouth. So out in a curve. And then fill it in. I don't fill in the upper lip because I like to put lipstick there. Fill in the nose area. If the kid is sick, um, and their nose is running that you don't want to do this design on them. Now I'm going to come back up and just fill in this top area. So the shape goes in and then out, kind of like an hourglass. Okay, so that's it for the basic shape. If you want to use a star blend instead, star blends work really well for it too. And if you want to, you can always go in with a little pink and go on um, the child's eyelids as well. So now what I'm going to do is take some of that metallic rose color, get some on a, a number six brush or a mini like little chisel brush works really well. I don't know where mine is right now though. So, and I'm just going to do a little inside shape. You're just going to mimic the shape of the outside on the inside, the insides of the ears. For the nose, I just go flick flick and then I connect the two right below the tip of the nose and then the bottom of the nose and then just on the lips okay so now that all that's left is the black I'm gonna take a skinny number one brush and some diamond effects black I start at this section again and I just do teardrops kind of following the lines of the hairs and then do little quick hair strokes along the ears, outline the insides and then just go up for little hairs inside there. Same thing over here. For the muzzle, I pull, push, pull and do little hairs going up and same thing over here two little lines in the nose and a line going down the center and end by pushing the brush in so it's like an elongated teardrop and uh, some whiskers, just be really gentle and light on the brush so they're not thick. You want really thick.
thin uh, whiskers. I start with the middle one. And curve it down. And I find they're always cute when you start them close together and then they end farther apart. And last but not least, little eyelashes. So you can do the eyelashes two different ways. You can do teardrops or just out. I like doing teardrops. So I start with a big one and then just go in like that. Like big eyelashes. And that's it. It's a super fast, cute kitty. Um, you can add some glitter to make it even more fancy. And if you're not having to explain stuff, it'll take you just a minute or two. It's really quick. And the little girls like it, so. All right, so that's it. Um, with just a few quick changes, this can become a bunny. The first step in changing this into a bunny is to redo the ears. Everything else stays the same. So the muzzle, the whiskers, the nose, everything else stays the same. And bunnies are really good to know right now because they're quick. Easter is coming and they're good for boys and girls. You just use blue or green instead of pink if you're going to do it on a boy. All right. So you're just going to, um, hopefully I'm not blocking this, with about three strokes with your brush, one, two, three, go straight up like that. Then you're going to turn the angle of your brush and go down. We're going to do little folded ears. Okay. And use the rounded tip of your brush to make the rounded bottom of your ears and the top too. Okay, so that's the basic uh, ear. Uh, number six brush and some of that pink again. And just right here, remember that line we made? You're going to drag it in. So there's just a little section showing of the pink. Okay, like oh. that. Cannot forget the teeth. That's the one other thing that's different. So the ears and the teeth are the two things that you change to make it a bunny. So I'm just going to take um, some more white. Some white on my brush, make sure it's not too runny. And just fill in a little square on the bottom lip. If they have really, really skinny lips, then go down, um, you know, below on. I don't want to make chin. the teeth too big though because that becomes really unattractive really fast. So um, be conservative with the with the teeth. My skinny brush with black on it and what you're gonna do is just do the little hair marks. You can make a couple flick up at the top if you want and you're gonna outline the ear and then kind of curve it like that so it looks like the ear is flopping over and a couple hairs inside there. Outline the teeth. And remind your child not to push their lips together else your teeth will be ruined. So that's it. With that simple step you can change your kitty into a bunny and you have a really fast quick bunny to do for Easter coming up and I hope that helped you guys and that you can use it at an event coming soon. All right. Thanks everybody. Bye.